Hello and welcome to Public Information Center, PIC or just PIC. I am Ibrahim Omar. I work for Public Information Center, Cuba. Public Information Center is a leader in computer-related field. Here we provide computer training and computer sales. As long as we work in this field, do not hesitate to contact us for any services that some has something to do with computers. In this video, I would like to focus on Microsoft Word 2013, basic features of using this powerful program. If you are a new user, then you will find this very useful. And if you are an advanced user, please call us to get advanced courses on demand. Well, there is something to know. I will be making two separate videos in part one I will talk about the ribbon in Microsoft Word 2013 and in part two I will be concentrating on text formatting. Ready? So let's start uh, opening Microsoft Word 2013. So click the start button, just point to all programs, scroll down, Microsoft Office 2013, click and then Microsoft Word 2013. And here you go. So this is uh, the main screen when you open Microsoft Word 2013, uh, you will find this interface. So now you have the option uh, to open a template from Microsoft Word or you will uh, be opening a blank document. So in this uh, demonstration, I will be using a blank document. So I just click the blank document and here we go so this is the main screen or the main interface of Microsoft Word 2013 um, when you open Microsoft Word 2013 you will find this interface which is called the ribbon so this is the ribbon from here up to this one is called the ribbon uh, the ribbon comes with different tabs so we have home tab we have insert tab, we have design and up to view or sometimes you can find the developer but this one is optional so uh, by default it will not be shown here but later on I will, s I will tell you how to, to show it here. Anyway, um, each tab has on its ribbon and each ribbon, each ribbon divided into groups. For example, the first group is called clipboard so this is um, this line separates uh, each group from uh, each another. So this is the first uh, group, clipboard, and these are the command that are in this group. And we have also font group, and from this line to this line, so these are uh, the font group. And thank you very much for Microsoft um, when it put uh, all the related command in one group. For example, this group is called font so it has something to do with the font so you can bold the font you can italic you can underline you can increase the font size you can decrease the font size you can color you can change the font the font face and so on and this one is paragraph and this one is a style and so on so now um, uh, if we, uh, and we have this is small bar this one is called the quick access toolbar so when you point to this drop down arrow you will see uh, an screen pop up this one it appears only when I point to this arrow customize the quick access toolbar so this one is called uh, the quick access toolbar so what is the advantage of the quick access toolbar now I'm going to show you uh, but before that the quick access toolbar can be located above the ribbon or below the ribbon so how we're going to change that just click this one and then show below the ribbon so when you click here and here we go you can see the quick access toolbar is located uh, below the ribbon uh, and if you would like to remove it to put it above the ribbon do the same click the drop down arrow here and then show above the ribbon amazing but I, I prefer to be just below the ribbon this is what I always I do I just put it below the ribbon well uh, now in the quick access toolbar we have this button it's called save and then we have redo and we have undo and we have this one is called quick print um, so how can I add some buttons to the quick access toolbar it's as simple as a piece of cake just click the drop down arrow and then you see 
anyone that has a small tick here, that means it's it's already there. It appeared there in the in the cube access toolbar. So when you click new, and then you have you have the bar new is here, and then. If you, you need to locate open in the quick access tool and then just click open and then he is open. So this is the way that you can uh, put uh, some buttons to the quick access toolbar. And if you would like to remove them, for example, I would like to remove save the first one here, just untick this one. Just click and save is no longer here. And then when you go back and then you click save and it's here in this place. Well, um, now let's see how uh, can we add some buttons from the ribbon to the quick access toolbar here for example bold is here so how can I just move it here no problem just right click on the button and then add to quick access toolbar and then here we go the font color just click here and then add to quick access toolbar and then it's here so how to move it same right click remove then right click remove and right click remove so this is the way that you add uh, even uh, command from the ribbon for example the table right click add the quick access toolbar and it's here by default so the question is why do we move commands from the ribbon and then we put it here in the quick access toolbar well for example um, if I just write the word here um, information well and I would like to to change the font size now the font size is uh, 11 so if um, I'm here and I would like to change the font size to be for example 24 no way unless I go to home and then I click the drop down arrow here and then I choose the, f the the side that I want for example 22 or I would like to choose 28 and so on but when we move the font size to this to the quick access toolbar it remains regardless of the tab we are let's see that now the font size just right uh, sorry just you right click in here and then add to quick access toolbar so now it's located here well now I am in review form and I would like to to change the font size no no need to go to home because it's located here just click here and then choose 10 once again I am in reference and then just no problem just go and then choose 26 so here we go so that's why we we, we put sometimes we put some commands to the quick access toolbar because it remains available and visible uh, regardless of the tab that we are good uh, now um, if we would like to minimize the the ribbon so now the ribbon takes maybe uh, big space from the page from the from yeah from the page so to minimize this one just double click in active cap and where is the ribbon no way the ribbon is disappeared so how we restore it back and then just click any tab and it's here and then when you click back and then it disappears so this is one way that how to minimize the quick access toolbar so, so how to fix this problem just double click again and it remains so no way amazing well uh, another option to minimize the quick uh, the, the ribbon is to right click and then um, 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 uh, collapse collapse the ribbon right click and uncollapse the ribbon so this is the way or from the keyboard you can use control F1 control F1 you toggle from control and then F1 control F1 control F1 so now you have several options of minimizing uh, uh, the ribbon well so this is on um, how to use uh, the, the, the ribbon in Microsoft Word 2013 now let me show you one th one more thing is for example if I would like to put the printer if I want to print so now you have here quick print um, the quick print 
doesn't give you that option that to choose how many pages would you like to print and which printer would you like to use it just uses a default printer but when we use this one print preview and print so this one is helpful because this one will uh, you can even choose the number of copies that you want for example I have this page but I need 10 copies of this one so no problem just you increase the, f the, the number of copies to be 10 and then from here you're gonna choose which printer for example if you have a network printer or if you have a, a, a fixed printer on your computer or we have or you have different or many printers so you just you click this arrow and then you choose a printer that you want to use maybe one is colored and the other one is just black and white and then you choose the printer that you want and then uh, how many pages would you like to print or the current page or pages and so on so you have the option to use uh, what you want and then you simply click uh, print so now you see now this is my default printer and it's ready now so if I just click print and then I will get this page is printed so but I don't want to print just for demonstration and then uh, when you finish and then you click uh, back because I don't want to print but if you want to print just click print I don't want to print I just click back and then I I am back again to the main page um, so uh, this is uh, the end of uh, part one and then see you in the part two but before that if you would like to call us please do not hesitate to contact us here this public information center uh, contact person is Ismail right now, and the, this is the mobile that you can call to get more information uh, if you need to if you want to register for a computer course or if you want to purchase a computer or anything that has something to do with computer please do not hesitate to contact us in this uh, contact number and see you in the next video part two thank you very much